up guys how are you all welcome back to all around once again i hope you are doing well and enjoying your days so let's get started with today's video today's video is about cardiovascular system so let's get started so today we are going to learn about heart blood blood vessels heart diseases how to prevent heart diseases and have a healthy heart okay so i hope you all know that about circulatory system or that or that is also called as cardiovascular system but if you don't know here we are so don't worry let's get started so first of all we're going to learn about heart the human heart is an organ that pumps blood throughout the body we are the circulatory system supplying oxygen and nutrients to the tissues and removing carbon dioxide and other wastes the tissues of the body need a constant supply of nutrition in order to be active so heart is actually a muscle which pumps blood around the body it is a very strong organ and it's 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 very essential because without heart we couldn't survive of course we also need other organs such as intestines brain liver kidney but heart is one of them so it pumps blood around the body next then but how does the heart pump blood so first of all like uh, the blood goes again when it when it gives to all the cells oxygen it comes back to the heart so there actually the heart has four chambers or or it is called rooms the heart has four rooms or four spaces the called right atrium right ventricle left atrium left ventricle so all the blood all the blood from the body comes back to the right atrium the top right column of the heart receives the right atrium receives blood from the veins all the veins and pumps it to the right ventricle right ventricle is down of right atrium the right atrium receives blood from the right ventric uh, the right ventricle sorry the right ventricle receives blood from the right atrium and pumps it to the lungs where it's loaded with oxygen it goes in arteries to the lungs where it, where it where it gets oxygen guys now let me tell you that this is the only exception everywhere in the whole body the uh, blood the oxygenated blood goes in the arteries but here the deoxygenated blood is goes in the arteries in the lungs it it gets oxygen then it comes to the left atrium the left top part of the heart the left atrium receives oxygenated blood from the lungs and pumps it to the left ventricle again here the oxygenated blood comes from the veins all in the whole body it only comes uh, Uh, the veins carry deoxygenated blood, but only here it gets the oxygenated blood, and then the pass to the left ventricle, the down left column. The left ventricle, the strongest chamber, pumps oxygen-rich blood to the rest of the body. The left ventricle's vigorous contraction creates our blood pressure, and the left ventricle has so much muscle because here it has to pump the blood blood to all body, so it must be very strong. Yeah, and actually it's strong. Next. blood the blood is a body fluid in humans and other animals that delivers necessary substances such as nutrients and oxygen to the cells and transports metabolic waste products away from those same cells in vertebrates it is composed of blood cells suspended in blood blood plasma so there are four parts of blood one is white blood cells same as wbcs red blood cells rbcs plasma and platelets Mm, so we're going to study each of them in detail so let's get started with them so white blood cells also known as wbcs are also called leukocytes or leukocyte the, the spreading matter so are the cells of the immune system that are involved in protecting the body against both infectious diseases and foreign invaders it's like a police of a body which fights with the infections and the viruses and all in the if you have a, healthy immune system you have a uh, strong white blood cells which are able enough to fight uh, viruses and diseases red blood cells the red uh, the blood cells that carry oxygen red blood cells contain hemoglobin and the hemoglobin which permits them to transport oxygen and carbon dioxide so guys there is a fact that one drop of blood contains about 2 million red blood cells and red blood cells are disc shaped so that they can the oxygen can come in and go out quickly and uh, the uh, hemoglobin carries them hemoglobin allows to carry oxygen and also carbon dioxide back hemoglobin it's uh, on, it's not only a transport molecule but it's also pigment which gives the color 
which gives a blood red color. Next, plasma. Plasma is a clear, straw colored liquid portion of blood that remains after red blood cells. White blood cells, platelets, and other cellular components are removed. It is the single largest component of the human body, comprising over 55%. 55% of blood is plasma, 44% is red blood cells, 1% is platelets, and uh, white blood cells. So plasma contains water, salt, enzymes, antibodies, and other proteins. So you can see that picture. The yellow, pale liquid is called plasma. <coughs> <coughs> the platelets are tiny blood cells that help you, your body form clots to stop bleeding. So guys, just imagine you get a cut. Of course, you do every in everyday activities. <coughs> so you put a bandage on it. But do you think the bandage stops it? No, the platelets they form a clot. Which stop the bandage. The bandage is to cover it so that uh, no, no insect or other viruses sit on it. If one of your blood cells get damaged, it sends out signal to the platelet. The platelet then rush to the side of the damage. They form a plug or cloth to fix the damage. So you can see in this picture there's white blood cells, plasma, platelets, red blood cells. Now there are blood vessels. Blood vessels are like tubes which carry blood. So the three types of blood vessels, arteries, veins and capillaries. The arteries are the blood vessels that deliver oxygen-rich blood from the heart to the tissues of the body. So they carry from the heart to the rest of the body. And they have, they have a small lumen because they, are, they have a thick walls because the blood from the heart has a lot of pressure. Then veins, vein, and they carry oxidated blood. Vein, arteries carry oxidated blood. Veins are blood vessels that carry blood back towards the heart. heart. Most veins carry deoxygenated blood from the tissues back to the heart. Exceptions are the pulmonary and the umbilical veins, both of them which carry oxygenated blood to the heart. So veins have a large lumen because the blood is not pressure when it returns back to heart. And they also have walls because they are like doors which allow the blood to pass and then close otherwise the blood returns back to its plates and that causes problems. Capillary is a small blood vessel from about 5 to 10 micrometers in diameter. And having a wall one uh, ethereal cell thick. They are the smallest blood vessels in the body. They convey blood between the arterioles and venules. So the artery doesn't go to the cells. Your artery divides into uh, artery divides into capillaries. Each capillary gives each cell and then it goes to the veins. So in this diagram you can see at the top artery, then it goes to capillaries and then vein. Now there are many heart diseases. So heart disease is also called cardiovascular disease mainly affects older people and means there are that there are problems with the heart and blood vessels that this disease includes a variety of problems including high blood pressure or the or just bp hardening of the arteries chest pain heart attacks and strokes and these are the list of some heart diseases first is coronary artery disease coronary artery disease cad the most common uh, heart disease occurs when ldl or bad cholesterol builds up clog in the heart arteries heart failure arrhythmia value value heart disease aortic aneurysms heart infections heart problems at birth so but there are also prevention of heart disease and having a healthy heart so first of all control your blood pressure don't eat much salt and uh, high blood pressure is a major risk factor for your uh, heart disease also also if you feel you have a high blood pressure you can check it and consult a doctor for immediately Keep your cholesterol and triglyceride levels under control. Don't eat much fat and stay at a healthy weight. Don't be overweight or underweight obese. Eat a healthy diet. Get regular exercise. Don't uh, limit alcohol. Don't drink much alcohol. That can cause uh, danger to liver and also to heart. Don't smoke. Danger to lungs and heart. Manage stress. That can cause high blood pressure. And then you have heart problems. So guys, it's the end of the video and don't forget to like our channel, subscribe and so that you don't miss our new video and share your, just share our channel to your friends and please subscribe. Stay so stay safe. And if if you have any doubts regarding this topic, don't forget to write them in the comments. We'll reply surely. Thank you. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.